everybody, Southern Comms Prepper here, and I've decided that for the first video for this channel I would like to discuss simplex repeaters and how they can be used as one of many methods for survivalist comms. And basically, I'm going to jump right in here and just discuss the uh, devices you see in front of you here. You'll see I have two radios. This one here is a Baofeng, and this radio here is a TYT. This is actually one of my main radios, uh, and both of these take Kenwood type connectors on the side, so just kind of a little tidbit of information there. Uh, the device you see here is actually the simplex repeater. So you can see they're actually very small, uh, smaller than some of these radios. And this is actually a very small radio right here. Now basically, uh, looking at price-wise here, this radio here is about $16. These are very cheap. You can get them on Amazon. And I'll put the link to all of these items in the description. Uh, this radio here, uh, you can also get on Amazon for about $100. And then the simplex repeater itself, you're looking at anywhere from seventy to a hundred dollars for the simplex repeater. Now, in my case, uh, I had eBay bucks, so what I did is I managed to get this for forty dollars from a seller on eBay. Now, I bought this ready, this uh, simplex repeater from China, and it took about a month to get here. Now, if you want to try some other brand, you know that's up to you. There are, uh, I believe, it's Argent Data Systems. ADS SR1 is made and sold in the US and it's $89 so if you wanted to pick that up it might get to you a little bit quicker uh, so basically you know you're looking at that's the cost there now uh, it just really it depends on the kind of radio you want to use uh, you know I mean you could use something as cheap as you know a $20 radio off of eBay or Amazon on up to uh, you know $100 radio on up to your Motorola's and your Yesus and that kind of thing and then of course you've got your cost you know seventy to a hundred dollars for a simplex repeater go ahead and show you the one I used is a radio tone repeater simplex repeater and uh, there are a few US sellers of these on eBay but you're not gonna find very many of them usually if you get one of these it's gonna come from China and you're, you're looking at about a month uh, for it to get here. So if you need an ASAP, I would go with the Argent Data Systems. Uh, part of the reason I did not go with the Argent Data Systems repeater is they seem to be sold out a lot. And, you know, I don't know if a lot of people are buying them or if it, what the deal was with that. So when I wanted to order it, it said it was sold out. So I was just like, well, I'll just order this and see if it'll work right. And, it, and so far it has. All right. So that covers the cost. So basically now it's time to discuss what is a simplex repeater? What does a simplex repeater do? And for that I will go ahead and take this radio out of the equation. Basically a simplex repeater, and you'll see I already have it connected to my radio, it comes with this black box. Uh, it might come with a charging cable to plug into the wall, and then it'll come with whatever cable you want to get with it that hooks up to the radio. And basically all you do is of course you would charge this and turn it on, put batteries in it, whatever. But turn it on, hook up your cable, then hook this cable into the radio. And mine takes a standard Kenwood type two pin plug. And basically, once you've done that, you're ready to go. Uh, of course, you know, you have to put in whatever frequency you want to use in here. But basically, the way that the simplex repeater works is it takes an incoming signal. So, whatever signal this radio receives, this, the simplex repeater, records. When it's through recording, so like if you stop transmitting or if it records up to its 30-second uh, maximum, this will stop recording, and then it will replay. And as it re when it replays, it transmits on this radio. So basically, you've got a signal that comes in. This records it. That signal stops transmitting. It then replays that and retransmits it out. Uh, I forgot to mention that whatever frequency you have in here this is not like a, a, a standard repeater you know calling this a, a repeater is a bit of a misnomer it technically does repeat but it's not like a duplex repeater where it, it that occurs over two frequencies it's one frequency and this you know your transmit and your receive occurs on the same frequency and that's why it's a simplex repeater because it repeats uh, but it's simplex in that it's only on just that one frequency so basically what I'd like to go ahead and do is just do a quick demonstration using the Baofeng radio here and what you'll see is you'll probably see a few lights come up on here uh, this will receive uh, you'll see it recording and then it, when I unkey and stop transmitting it'll replay and you'll hear it on this radio
Test, test, one, two, test, test, one, two, simplex repeater, testing, one, two, test, test. So there you have it. That's how the standard operation for this would go. Uh, as you saw, it would receive the signal, then it retransmits it. Now as for the application of this, uh, there's really a, a lot of different ways you can do this. Uh, I mean, you know, you can use just about any radio. You can use even use mobile radios with this. Uh, and basically, you would either take this up to the top of a mountain, hoist it into a tree, put it at the top of a building, connect it to a good antenna, whatever. Uh, and basically the way it's going to work is if you've got two people on either side of a mountain and they can't talk to each other portable to portable and you put this at the top of the mountain well basically the guy over here if he wants to say something to this person over here he would just transmit up to the top of the mountain this would pick it up and retransmit it and then both of them would hear their traffic again uh, so basically uh, it would retransmit it and then this guy over here could hear it and respond and so that's basically the application of this. You know, usually, especially if you put it at a high location, it can really definitely greatly extend the uh, range out of this kind of radio here. Now what I'd like to do is just cover some of the advantages and disadvantages of this sort of setup. Uh, basically, some of the advantages is that it can, it can be very cost effective. Now in my case, you know, my repeater cost me forty dollars and then of course this radio is a hundred dollars but you can use any radio you could use the cheap sixteen dollar radio from Amazon you could use a two hundred dollar Motorola whatever as long as you have the right cables to interface it or you make your own it can be made to work uh, so really that's just whatever cost you have there and then the cost of the repeater uh, and then add that to whatever sort of antenna you want to get to go with this like if you want to hook it up to a better antenna, whatever you want to do. Uh, and so it, it can be fairly cost effective. I mean, you're looking at anywhere from, you know, $100 on up to $150 uh, if you're really pushing it. Uh, and so that, that's one of the advantages. Another advantage uh, I've already kind of touched on is that it can work with just about any radio. Now, I won't go out there and say and act confident and say, yeah, it can work with absolutely any radio you have, but either the cables are already there and you can purchase those or you can make your own and more than likely you can make it work with just about any radio you throw at it but I'm not going to guarantee that um, uh, another advantage kind of along the same lines there is that uh, you can use it on just about any frequency now I won't get into the legality of that because legally you can't use it on any frequency you want to but the possibility is there to use it on any number of frequencies uh, from VHF to UHF uh, so that that certainly is a, another advantage uh, now uh, another advantage though um, meant to add with cost effectiveness is if you want to set up a duplex repeater you've got to buy a duplexer uh, you're looking at maybe two mobile radios you know a run of coax uh, some way to power it uh, a good antenna I mean you know you're really pushing the cost up there now you can do it but you're really going to be having to <coughs> you're really going to be having to skimp on some stuff to do that. Uh, now for the disadvantage. Disadvantage is it can take a while for a message to go through this. I mean, you got to think if you transmit for 10 seconds, this is going to replay that 10 second message. Then the other person has to hear the message, you know, come up with a response. They respond. Let's say that takes 10 seconds too. Well, then it takes another 10 seconds for it to get back to you. So that could really add up. So you kind of have to weigh that with the cost benefits and the, the ease of use. Um, another disadvantage, though, is uh, also this takes a little, uh, a little discipline, I'll say, from your users. Uh, for example, people have to know to give it time for you to respond. You know, because what you might run into is someone is like, oh, well, I've waited 10 seconds and they haven't responded yet, so I'm going to go ahead and try to contact them again. Meanwhile, you're sitting there transmitting into this, uh, trying to respond to them, and you wind up with, you know, this will replay just basically the two radios walking over each other. Uh, so that's, that's another disadvantage. <clears throat> uh, so I've already kind of talked about the application of this a little bit, and I just want to give kind of a, uh, 
a preview to what I'll be doing. I want to come up with some kind of enclosure for this and mount an external antenna, like an external mobile antenna, uh, on the outside of that enclosure and have it hooked up to my radio here and then either put that at the top of a mountain, hoist it into a tree, do whatever with it, uh, and just kind of see how that will work. I'm really kind of leaning towards hoisting it into the top of a tree, uh, you know, 40 or 50 feet, and it would just be the radio and the repeater and then whatever antenna I choose to use. And, uh, you know, if I do that at the top of a hill, I, I should be able to cover a pretty large area uh, with just these portables like this. Uh, so that pretty much wraps this video up. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. Uh, the main goal here was just to kind of uh, give basically kind of an overview of simplex repeaters and maybe clear some things up for those of you that maybe were considering this but didn't know what all it involved or didn't even know, you know, maybe what exactly a simplex repeater was. Uh, so I, I hope this is helpful and uh, be sure to look out for any future videos because I plan on covering a lot of different communications topics on here, not just simplex repeaters. So uh, please check back often for those videos.